The Ravalli County Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence was formed in 1998 and was one of the first coordinated community responses to intimate partner violence in Montana. I've been the Ravalli County Attorney for 17 years. Before that, I practiced for 10 years in the community. And I can say that the coalition has helped bring the problem of sexual and domestic violence to the public consciousness. I think we have, we've certainly penetrated into the public consciousness how insidious uh, and, and destructive these uh, sexual and domestic violence is. I, I, don't, I don't think I can, I can overemphasize how important the coalition has been in the community. And I, I don't think that, again, we could overstate the importance of these partnerships in the community in, in combating these issues that once were, were just simply something we didn't talk about. Coalition members focus on improving our community's response to domestic and sexual violence, recognizing that survivors seek support and assistance from many different sources. It's important for all of us to work together to help battered women and their children to be safe. In public health, we frequently deal with women who have issues with domestic violence and rape. As a WIC director, I may also be called upon to discuss the SAFE program with WIC clients. Between the two agencies that I direct, domestic violence issues may overlap. One of the activities that was extremely effective was coordinating issues of domestic violence with local doctors, incorporating special questions regarding violence, rape, sexual co coercion, etc., into their physical exams. I think it's very important to have a religious issues coalition. Often we have found, I have found personally, that religion or Christianity or God and, or the Bible is used as an excuse for domestic violence. Um, the Bible um, is so incorrectly used as a weapon against them. They make the jump between um, a narrow interpretation of some verses of the Bible and what their pastor says to be obedient to their husband and to be a better wife to that they are probably not precious in God's sight either. And that creates even broader problems. The coalition is also focused on preventing domestic and sexual violence, that is, creating and supporting programs that endorse and explore healthy relationships, especially for children and teenagers. One activity I'm excited about that um, are now in the schools is the RESPECT curriculum. What I like about it is the fact that um, Bailey, a prevention coordinator, goes in and talks um, separately with the girls as well as with the boys um, about what healthy relationships are like and I think that's very uh, powerful and yet informative for the kids because they at that age are asking a lot of questions about um, relationships in general. Without SAFE's involvement in, in really bringing this to the forefront and then also getting the coalition established uh, where we've been able to get to today and we've certainly by any means eradicated uh, sexual or domestic violence. We probably never will but we're certainly going to see it's not tolerated and that wouldn't be possible without SAFE.